Hello, everybody. Today, I am once again joined by the quintessential diva, Giselle Shaw. Giselle, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Ella. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic, and I'm great to see that you are live from the kitchen today. So I, I guess the most important question, what are you making for this special occasion interview today? You know what? Whatever you want, honey, because, you know, I am such a good girl. I'm not really a good cook, but I'm pretty good at it. Wait, I'm, not, it, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, so negative? I'll take it. <laughs> no negative. <laughs> but you'll just have to come over one of these days and I'll make you something. Okay, well, well, I'll put it in my calendar for you. So, yes. I mean, Giselle, I mean, starting off, I mean, you've officially been a part of Impact Wrestling for about seven months now. It's gone by so fast. So mm -hmm. can you tell us more about your experience thus far in the Impact Zone and some takeaways? You know, it has been such a roller coaster ride uh, being an impact. Obviously, I love being there, you know. Yeah. Um, but it feels like it's just been, you know, it's been going up and down and stuff. Um, you know, I've been through a lot of tag partners and, and that's totally fine. You know, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to be there. And I don't really want to think too, too much ahead, you know, in the future because I don't want to be missing out on the now. So I just want to enjoy it. I know that, you know, I'm, I'm putting my trust with impact and stuff and um, we're just going to go on this crazy ride together, you know? Exactly. I mean, was there anybody too who really particularly welcomed you or helped you find your footing in this new locker room as well? I mean, pretty much everyone, you know, everyone's so friendly. Everyone keeps asking me, um, whenever I go to the UK, especially, you know, everyone asks me, what is it like to work for Impact? What's the locker room like? And I think it's just incredible. Everyone's so friendly. We're, we're, we're like a little family, you know, we look up for each other. Um, everyone watches everyone's matches, you know, and then you get like the, the feedback and what can you do better the next time. And I think it's just so incredible that, you know, people that have been there a very long time can take, um, you know, um, to take that time to even watch your matches and to give you critique after to make you better. I think that's really important in the locker room and, I, I, it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, you're you're living the dream. And I, was has there been a particular instance or person that has given you feedback on one of your matches that has really stuck with you so far? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, Tommy Dreamer. You know, um, hey Tommy. <laughs> but um, you know, he pulled me aside one of my matches, and he was just like. These are the things that you should be doing. These are the things that you shouldn't be doing. And, you know, if there's anyone out there that is going to give you feedback and you should listen to, it's probably Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> yeah, and you mentioned the UK before. Obviously, before coming to Impact Wrestling, you were absolutely slaying the UK with holding multiple championships at one time. And I was talking to Gail Kim a few months ago, and they said that they had talks to sign you to Impact Wrestling a bit earlier, but now felt like the right time for you. So why was this year the right time for Giselle Shaw to join Impact Wrestling? I just feel like um, before there were no opportunities. So, you know, I, I've been the kind of person where if there's no opportunities, I'm going to create opportunities for myself. So that's why I, I went to the UK. Um, I did that, you know, um, I was hoping anyway, right? like I was banking on them loving me <laughs> and hopefully making me want to stay and keep me there, um, which they did. And at the time, like I just wanted to, make a name for myself and learn, you know, that type of wrestling. And when Impact first came to me, I just was not ready because I didn't really feel like I accomplished what I needed to accomplish in the UK at the time. So when I've reached the pinnacle, as you would say, um, you know, in, in the British scene, I felt like, okay, well, like what's next, you know? Um, and then it just so happened at the time, Impact Wrestling came back again and they go, are you ready now? And, you know, I said, let's go. This is the time. 
Let's go. And you've been a staple of the knockouts division ever since. And I mean, impact wrestling too is in its 20th year, which is still crazy to say. And so, I mean, outside of your own body of work right now, thus far, is there been a particular moment within the last 20 years in impact that genuinely popped you or really sticks out to you from its history? Well, I, I mean, I've always been, you know, inspired by the knockouts, right? I, I feel like, um, they really stood out at the time where women weren't given opportunities. And um, I mean, when they were given opportunities, it was, you know, Ron Patty's matches or um, pillow fights and stuff and whatnot. So um, I really feel like, you know, the, the knockouts division has been so innovative and um, forward thinking. So that definitely made me want to become, you know, a wrestler and, and be one of the knockouts. Definitely to the knockouts division has taken this whole, I mean, even just in the last year, so many firsts, which we'll get into a bit later, but I mean, impact wrestling now looking towards the more current future, they're returning to Dallas, Texas on August 26th and August 27th for the Lone Star Stampede television taping. So for you, can you share some of your favorite memories in the city of Dallas in or outside of wrestling? So Dallas actually was my first um, loop for work with Impact. So, you know, it does, it, it's, it's special to me. <laughs> um, I think it was hard to kill. Um, and, you know, we came back here for WrestleMania weekend. And that weekend was the first Mania weekend that I had. So, you know, and then now here I am doing this media tour here in Dallas. So, you know what? Um, I think Dallas is, you know, gonna have it's gonna hold a special place in my heart yeah I got to see you too at the multiverse of matches in Dallas Texas that was a definitely fun weekend my first Wrestlemania as well and I mean successful oh, wow. yeah and successful shows impact just came off of emergence of course in Chicago with a lots of action ensuing so for you was there like a particular match that night that really captivated your interest or just took your breath away and why I would have to say the main event, you know, yeah. Josh Alexander versus Alex Shelley. That was just so incredible. You know, like I said before, we do watch the matches um, backstage and everyone was just going crazy, you know, for them. And we just wanted them to do, uh, we knew that they were going to do well anyways, but, you know, we just want to make sure that like we get to cheer everybody on and, um, you know, very positive locker room and very supportive. And that's what we are about. Now, who are you rooting for in that matchup? Or you were more just like, this is going to be a great match regardless. I had to root for Josh Alexander, of course, because, you know, like, he's like my big brother. Mm -hmm. We're both Canadians. Um, you know, um, Jake Chung, his wife, is one of my besties. I love Jake. So, yes, and, and you know, and, and their son, well, both their sons are like my little nephews. So I had to root for Josh, obviously. But you know what? Um, I love Alex Shelley. And he's just incredible as well. And, you know, and then they put on a clinic and um, I feel like everybody should watch that match. They really did. And now Josh is heading into the Lone Star Stampede still as the reigning Impact World Heavyweight Champion. And I mean, speaking of emergence to on the countdown to emergence, we saw the crowning of brand new knockouts tag team champions with VXT defeating the now former champs, Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. So, I mean, what you, you said that you've been running through tag team partners. What, is, what are your thoughts on Deanna Perrazzo and Chelsea Green now taking over the knockouts tag? Tag division. I mean, Chelsea and Gianna, you know, individually, they're a force to be reckoned with. Individual, you know, wrestlers, but now that they've joined forces, I think they have just taken the knockouts division, you know, the tag team division to another level. And I'm really happy and excited for them. However, I am going to find myself maybe a tag team partner. And you know what? The quintessential diva is like they take it to another level, but I'm going to take it to the next level. So, what's in an, up? what's up, girls? <laughs> watch out. In an ideal world, though, I mean, maybe it's current or a former knockout. If you were to challenge VXT, who would you choose to be your partner, whether current or former knockout? That, that's a tough one. But you know what? I would have to say Mia Yim. The HBIC. 
I, I can't yeah. do it. Oh, this, yeah. It, it's I, right. can't, I can't do it. Yeah, see, it's a, I know a lot of people, we posted about this and a lot of people were like, how do you do this? And I'm like, oh, that's our thing. Um, we can't teach you. It's all good. But no, I would definitely have to pick her. I think she's an incredible wrestler, you know, and she's been, you know, at Impact for the longest time. And, you know, why not choose someone who has great accolade? I feel like that would work really well together too. Cause I mean, also like your, your gear styles are very different. So I would love to see what like team coordination you could come up, you could come up with. Hi Ross. This is a cameo by Ross Foreman. <laughs> that costs money. So <laughs> and we're getting it for free here, people. You are, you are. But I mean, speaking of um, killer knockouts, Killer Kelly recently officially joined the knockouts division and you faced her once before in your career. So what do you think of the addition of Killer Kelly officially now contracted to Impact Wrestling? Man, she is so sick. I, I actually know Killer Kelly from the UK, you know, when um, when, when we were both working yeah. in that team. And um, it's so crazy because, you know, the only time that we've actually wrestled was once in a four-way and you know immediately we were like oh man like I really want to wrestle you you know and like vice versa and we've just been waiting and waiting and I, you know and and watching her now at impact it's just so incredible like every when she comes out on her entrance I yell I'm like you know it's everyone I'm like oh my god like she's such a vixen you know she's just got like this aura about her that's just like yeah like I'm about to mess you up you know what I mean but like but I, like, she, I don't know, she's just, like something about her. It's like that je ne sais quoi, you know? Book it, Impact Wrestling, Giselle Shaw versus Killer Kelly one-on-one -on -one for the very first time. It's got to happen. Yes. It's got to happen. And I feel like to another strong suit of the knockouts division is the ring gear game. I was talking about yours, which I'm in love with. You ladies <laughs> always impress in that department. So I'm curious to know, is there any like sources of inspiration or stories you utilize when crafting your ring gear? So my ring gear, um, I liked it to be inspired, like Victoria's Secret style, you know, um, when I was growing up, I'm always, so this is what I was when I was growing up. I've always wanted to either be a Victoria's Secret Angel or a professional wrestler. And you know you, what? Yeah. Kind of I, both. Exactly. And, and I'm doing it both right now, you know, pretty much. So why not, why not have the best of both worlds? And so, yeah, they, they do inspire me to, you know, it's like this like sexy, but confident, strong, um, independent woman, you know, and that's what the quintessential diva is. And I can see that definitely in the way you present yourself, your ring gear, just the whole ensemble. Thank you so much. And I, I love how it's like, you know, we've added um, like the lights and stuff and whatnot. And I think it's just so cool. You know, it's just like something different, right? Yeah, you definitely stand out as the quintessential diva ab above the rest. And I mean, like I said, I feel like that's a strong suit within Impact Wrestling is the strong ring gear game. So within the Impact Wrestling locker room, who do you think besides yourself, of course, has the strongest ring gear game or aesthetic? Ooh. I would say, oh gosh, you know, that that's such a hard question because I... The knockouts, I feel like everyone looks so different and everyone has something to offer that I, I can't, you know, and it's like, the, like, like you said, the gear game is so strong that like, this is a hard one. Ugh. You know what? I would have to say Lish. Impeccable gear all the time, you know, um, also Deanna and Chelsea. You know, yes, yes. Um, they've always had just amazing gear, um, especially now that, you know, they have VSD. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, okay, I see you. But um, as well, Jessica. Jessica Havoc, yeah. Uh, yeah, so like her new, I mean, I, I'm not sure if that's aired yet or something, but, ooh, but you know what, everybody check it out. Um, it's just, it's amazing. Um, but like I said, you know, they're all my favorites. Everybody brings their A game. And like the, the, the most important thing about it, I think, is that um, everyone brings their A game, which 
makes me bring my A game to you know what I mean because like nobody wants to be left behind and everybody is just like okay cool like you're gonna show me like I'm gonna show you you know type of deal and it's like a friendly competition type of deal and um everybody brings the best out of everyone is I would say Yes. And I mean, we've had so many additions to the Impact Wrestling roster, including yourself, Killer Kelly, Masha Slamovich over the last year. So if you had the power to sign any current talent in the world to Impact Wrestling, Knockouts Division or not, who would you pick and why? Um, I would have to say Hyam. Oh, I love that girl. <laughs> the Renaissance right. woman. Right? So, um, Hyan is one of my good friends and, you know, 24 carats. Um, <laughs> so... Tag team partner. Just exactly. say it at Impact Wrestling. Tag team partner. Um, we've had great singles matches and stuff. Or, um, I would have to say Kanji from the UK yeah. as well. Uh, I think she and I have had great matches and, you know, um, we just have, like, that connection as well and um, I think that they have great um, personalities and characters as well that I think would mesh well with the locker room. And I think that's like the most important thing, you know, because I feel like if, let's say, you're a good wrestler um, and you just don't have, you know, not, you're not the, the right fit for the locker room, then I think that's you know, um, it's better to have someone who has a better attitude. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see you and Candy reprise that UK rivalry. And you've had so much in your career. So to close things out, obviously, Impact also recently announced their return to Albany for the biggest pay-per-view of the year, Bound for Glory, on October 7th, which I'll see you there, by the way. Ooh. So... In that spirit, is there a particular moment in your career you really felt all the glory or feel the most proud of so far? So far, you know, the most glory that I've had, I mean, I feel like I would have to say when when I disclosed. I know it's not wrestling-wise, but I feel like that's so, it's such a huge step for me, not only for my personal life, but also for my career. You know, I feel like loving myself and actually being able to um, be authentic fully, you know, in ring as a performer as well. You know, I don't have to think about, oh, like what's going on or, or what are people thinking? You know, I think that just being free from all of that and just be myself and just be happy. Um, I think that's the best thing that I could have ever done. And then, you know, I feel like, I always think like, why haven't I done this earlier? But everyone always has a different journey and, yeah. and um, it's better doing it now than never. Yeah. And like I told you in Nashville, you are a inspiration to me and a lot of other people, like yeah. even, yeah. even beyond wrestling, you really are like a powerful figure, the embodiment of the quintessential diva. And so we love to see that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's what you kind. Thank you. So before I let you go, can you please tell the listeners where they can purchase tickets for the Lone Star Stampede and where they can find you on your social media? So you can purchase tickets at Ticketmaster. Buy all the tickets, darling. We'll all be there. And you can find me on other social medias at Giselle Shaw 8 on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Follow Giselle. She's a great follow. And of course, check her out on Impact Wrestling and at the Lone Star Stampede coming up on August 26th and 27th from Dallas, Texas. So Giselle, thank you so much for chatting with me today again. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Thank you so much, Ella. Have a great day. You too.